Hello. When we capture a facial performance with a head-mounted camera system, aside from just a mesh animation, we would like to have an animated texture that expresses wrinkles and blood flow effects on the face of the actor. But unfortunately, in most cases, HMC cameras only provide low-resolution monochrome images, and it's not enough to produce good textures. In this step, we'll see how we can generate a very nice color texture dynamically for every expression of the actor's performance. To do that, let's start with loading a neutral face mesh. I'm going to drag and drop the neutral model here. Let's turn off the wireframe. Next, let's load a stabilized mesh sequence by using a load vertices node. I'm going to use the results of the guidable replace step. Let me plug in the neutral mesh to the load vertices node. So here's our sequence. Now let me also load a set of fax expressions from the photogrammetry rig. I'm going to select all the expressions in this folder and drag them to the graph editor. Let me turn off the wireframe. Let me also load a set of corresponding textures for these fax expressions. For this example, I'm going to load 4K textures. And let's also turn off the lighting. As you can see, our fax expressions from the photogrammetry rig come with very nice color textures. The idea of this step is to use these textures as training data. Then, by looking at the current frame of our facial performance, we will predict the texture for this frame using the samples from the training data. Let me remove these two nodes as we no longer need them. And now let's create a guidable texture node. The first input of the node is going to be our stabilized facial performance. The second input is the neutral expression. Let me plug it into the second input of the guidable texture node. Also, let me load a corresponding neutral texture. I'm going to use 4K resolution. I'm also going to turn off the lighting for my neutral mesh. As you may see here, applying a static neutral texture for the entire performance is not a very good idea as it lacks dynamic skin effects like wrinkles and blood flow. So let's see how we can solve it. Like any other guidable node, this node requires us to provide it with training data. The first parameter is going to be our neutral fax expression. So let me go ahead and load it. The second parameter is going to be our set of stabilized fax expressions. Let's load them as well. The next parameter is corresponding texture for our neutral expression. And I'm going to use a 4K texture for now. And the next parameter will be a set of responding textures for our fax expressions. Now the node will take some time to load all the data into the memory. OK, and now if we turn on the Auto Compute option, the node will compute a dynamic texture for us. So let's go to the 2D viewport. This is our dynamic texture compared to the neutral texture that we had before. Now let's use a set texture node to apply this texture to our mesh sequence. Here you can see the dynamic texture applied to the mesh. So here is the result of the neutral texture. And here is the predicted one. Let's go ahead and try a few more expressions. You can see how the predicted texture very realistically reproduces the wrinkle and the blood flow effects on the face.
Please note that the guidable texture node is very memory consuming, so if you want to use textures of higher resolution, like 8K, one way to do that is to reduce the number of training samples you provide. So you will need to select a fewer number of very distinctive facial expressions and corresponding textures for them to reduce the amount of memory. All right, now we can create save image node. Let's create a folder for our results and call it Guidable Texture. Let's set the file name to frame 4 hash signs dot jpeg. And now if we click Compute Frame Range and compute the sequence, we will have a result like this. So, that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.